What's up everybody, Matt Moran here for another quick drive video, this time in the Volvo S90. Now this is the newer one with the longer wheelbase you now get with all the S90s here. And uh, it's a really nice thing to drive. I have I know the S90s have been around for a couple of years, but I've never driven one before today. So I wanted to hop in this and take it for a spin. This is the T6 model, so I think it's like 360 some horsepower uh, from the, I think it's the turbocharged and supercharged four cylinder, uh, but it doesn't have the hybrid electric uh, assist with the T8s. Um, so I drove the XC60 T8 and uh, you know that was really impressive um, and you get that same grade Volvo interior here in the S90 um, you know with the nice Bowers and Wilkins sound system the beautiful wood finishes you have everywhere um, the awesome color combos the only thing I can complain about though is this infotainment system I've booted it up twice and both times it was way slower than the XC60 ever was to boot up um, and it's actually it takes a while like I mean, I've only started this thing up twice as we go for an acceleration. Strong, strong engine here. I don't know, uh, you know, the zero to 60 times for this offhand here, but it, it feels pretty quick. Plenty of power for a large luxury sedan like this. But anyway, it, like both times that I've booted up this infotainment system, I just sit there and wait for, you know, 15, 20 seconds before everything fully came online. And, uh, you know, I don't know why it's slower in this than it is in the XC60, because um, it was fantastic in that vehicle. But in this, it's kind of slow and um, would be kind of annoying, I think, on a daily basis if you're in a hurry and you need to hurry up and do stuff like that, especially since a lot of, like for example, the seat adjustments, the basic seat adjustment you can do, but if you want to change um, like the uh, lower leg support or the lumbar or anything like that, you have to wait till this screen comes on and everything gets booted up before you can change that. So you're sometimes sitting here for 30 seconds before you can actually adjust all the parts of your seat that you want to adjust. Um, so just nitpicking um, but you know something worth noting but I mean as far as the drive of this thing it is very nice to cruise around in uh, you know I love these digital gauge clusters you have in these Volvos with the nav in the middle um, just really nice crisp looking graphics uh, and same goes for the center infotainment although it takes a while to boot up I mean once it does boot up it is pretty snappy with you know loading up all the menus and all that kind of stuff for you and uh, so it does do a very good job with all that and I mean I love the way this thing looks and it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so once it's up and running, it is fantastic, um, and I really love uh, this system. But all the materials in here are so beautiful with you know, the engine start stop button and the drive mode selector all being this uh, diamond knurled aluminum that's uh, really great. Um, and it's a really nice smooth uh, ride. I don't think it's the smoothest out there, um, but it is still, I mean, very befitting of a luxury car like this and certainly fits in with the rest in that regard. Um, all the um, inputs are also very good. Throttle response is actually nice and quick. Uh, brakes, you got bite immediately. As soon as you lean into the brakes a tiny little bit, you get a nice amount of bite on them. So it's uh, really good as far as all that goes. Steering is also actually quite direct and really nice. and. Uh, feels pretty good um so yeah i mean a really great thing to cruise around in but it still feels nice and dialed in as well and we're not even in the dynamic mode i don't think we're just in normal mode so if we went and uh, put this from comfort into dynamic and uh, see that all obviously just downshifted me a gear here and you know made it a little more eager to take off um but yeah we'll get, take it around a few corners and see how it handles all right let's dive it into a corner here see how the s90 handles Okay, so a little bit of lean, but then it does stick pretty nicely. And like I said, dynamic mode, you got some heavier uh, steering here. And overall, it actually feels pretty planted and actually feels a lot more poised than the XC60. And that probably goes without saying, considering that's a higher uh, SUV. Uh, you know, both of these are inscription trim, so they're both, um, you know, the luxury version here. Uh, but it's uh, actually uh, feels really nice as far as a handling standpoint goes. I mean, we only have a couple of corners here, so I can't uh, test it out too much. Um, but it does, you know, handle actually really nicely. And uh, I'm pretty impressed. I thought it would actually be a lot more floaty and soft than it is. Uh, it does a pretty good job here. This does have the drive assist systems, and on this narrow road where I don't have a ton of lane space, um, it really wants to help me out with, with making sure I don't go anywhere near that double yellow line, which is good. Um, but certainly, you know, Volvo is very, uh, you know, focused on safety, and their systems are tuned that way to make sure that it's very preventative, to make sure you're always in your lane and things like that. And another acceleration here. All right. <laughs> it's a pretty loud engine too for a luxury car. But yeah, it uh, does a good job getting you up and going. I mean, it's not going to take your breath away, but it does a good job. Um, 
But yeah, these things are really nice. I really like it. And I'm hoping that, you know, this infotainment system is just in this one and, uh, you know, not all of the S90s have this low of the boot up for the infotainment because that's really the only thing setting this apart from, uh, you know, being a really excellent luxury sedan. It's just really nice and it's different. You know, I like the looks of it, um, you know, with the Thor's hammer LED lights and it's just, it's just a refreshing change from all the other 5 Series and, you know, E-Classes and stuff out there. This is something different and I really love, you know, how they did a different take on an infotainment system and, um, you know, everything is just a little different in Volvos, you know, with a twist on engine uh, start button and all that kind of stuff. It's all very cool and I appreciate them doing something different, unique from the norm. It's really refreshing since everyone is following everyone else with styling and with, uh, you know, just the way they set everything up. And so this to be different uh, is daring and I like that from them. Um, and so overall, I really like this S90. It's pretty cool. Of course, I'll have to drive it more to get some more thoughts on it here. But overall, my first impressions are very good of it. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on the S90 in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.